Anthem was the game that pretty much kickstarted the last four years of my Twitch channel. On a normal January day in 2019, 17 year old me eagerly awaited the release date of Anthem the following month. The trailers I had seen made this game look otherworldly, which certainly grabbed my attention. I had already streamed a few times prior to this date, but I felt something pulling me towards playing and streaming Anthem so much that I couldn't not go live. But there was a complication. At the time, I didn't have a PC, so I wasn't able to participate in the PC beta that was being held. Well, whenever there was a problem, I thought there may also be a solution, and luckily for me, I was right. I came up with the idea to stream videos of Anthem gameplay on YouTube from my laptop. I thought it couldn't hurt, right? Everyone got to see Anthem gameplay, listen to the wonderful soundtrack, and see multiple different trailers that only increased their enthusiasm towards Anthem. And it turns out that it was indeed a great idea. The stream went very well, and a few people that I met around that time, or on that day specifically, still attend the streams to this day. A few weeks had passed by, and I was finally able to play Anthem on my PS4 Pro. The night before, I had gone to GameStop to pick up my copy with my mom. The feeling of excitement bubbled in me like a tea kettle boiling water. I might have even been steaming. I had been waiting for this day to play Anthem for myself for quite some time at this point, and those game trailers looked so amazing that I even dared say this game was going to be the destiny killer. I would eventually realize how wrong that statement was. But being a 17 year old gamer, loving the genre of looter shooters and something new and flashy at that had me hooked immediately. I jumped into Anthem, selecting a Colossus Javelin as I had loved the way it looked and functioned in the trailers and set out into the vast open world to slay monsters, learn the lore and get some juicy loot. Now, something that always struck me about Anthem was how interesting and reactive the world was. How bright and vibrant it displayed itself as, yet the dangers of Anthem weren't far behind the curtain of beauty. On an average day of gaming, I took my Colossus out for another free roam just outside the walls of Fort Tarsus to collect any lore notes I hadn't previously acquired and discover anything new that didn't previously stick out to me. After hunting for more knowledge of the world I was set in, I took my Colossus for an extensive flight all around the vast openness of Anthem, parking myself on a stranded strider to take in the view and using various passageways to eventually spill out into an incredibly open, almost arena-like expanse. I had taken in the view for a few seconds before being blasted by a ball of energy that was hurled at me. My thrusters immediately overheated and I crashed into the water below. Upon looking up, I realized that an ancient titan stood not 100 yards from me, immediately standing up and getting into battle stance. I launched everything I had at it, seeming to only scratch the surface of its health. This fight went on for over 15 minutes, and by this time, the titan still had half of its health, and my ammo was almost fully depleted. Luckily, two random javelins, also inside their own free roam, came to assist me. They both had a very stylish design, one for the Interceptor, and the other for the Ranger. Soon after the backup arrived, we took down the Ancient Titan with a thunderous crash, and I received two epic loot drops and one masterwork. When the fight was over and the loot was claimed, I thought to myself, surely this is the best game I've ever played.
I would end up playing Anthem for the better part of 600 hours, amassing a high 800 gear score and unlocking Grandmaster 2 difficulty. I played with various friends and ran the same missions and strongholds over and over because Anthem was beautiful. The world was absolutely stunning and the flight mechanic was the best I had ever seen. Eventually though, the statement of Anthem would kill Destiny caught up to me. I grew tired of how repetitive the missions were and the fact that I still hadn't received a legendary as the drop rates were so low and all the other loot I was getting wasn't better than what I already had, which then made the feeling of Grandmaster 1 and 2 difficulty feel as if it wasn't worth it. Then, including continuous bugs, game crashes, and a lack of content moving forward, I knew a decision had to be made. Soon after, I ended up uninstalling Anthem and completely forgot about it for a solid 8 months. I moved on from PlayStation to my first ever PC, and my buddy Eli wanted to pull me back into Anthem for a few missions to test out this new PC I had built. I played for one hour, finished the tutorial, hit level 2, and signed off. Even on PC, the game just wasn't for me anymore. A lack of content, bugs, crashes, and original sour taste I had towards the game left me wondering what to play and grind next. Fast forward two and a half years to the present day. At this point, I've played almost every genre of game, all from big to small titles, ranging from Spellbreak to Dauntless, Little Nightmares to all the original Call of Duty and Halo campaigns, to Fortnite and The Witcher 3, all of which brought me amazing vibes and great memories that I cherish. But one genre stood above all the rest. Looter shooters, my core. Basically, my gaming roots. I had gone off and on with Destiny for years, and many other titles of the genre that caught my eye, and when my buddy Naysayer bought me the Witch Queen DLC, I couldn't say no. After three weeks of grinding Destiny, and feeling that incredible spark towards looter shooters again, I felt like I could really get back into what practically started this journey in the first place. Soon after our Destiny grind, my buddies and I had moved over to The Division 2 upon the day it released on Steam, and grinded that out for the next few days. I had never played either of The Division games, but immediately loved what was being played before my eyes. I didn't think it was possible, but that original feeling of bubbling like boiling water in a tea kettle came back, and the first game I thought of was Anthem. I hadn't thought of that game in over two years. I contemplated it for a solid 30 minutes before cracking a huge smile across my face and thought, I'm going back to Anthem. Across the playtime of 15 hours, I felt one of the best states of nostalgia I've ever felt. Flying around as my new PC Colossus and reminiscing on dive bombing from the highest mountains into the deepest glowing waters and actually being able to do it, because I was there, once again. The game looked better than ever, and the optimization felt insanely smooth. I flew over to take on a camp of scars for a quick story quest, and just thought, wow, I'm actually back! I'm playing Anthem again! The improvements since I last played, which at this point had been just over three years, absolutely shocked me. Anthem looked almost unrecognizable, yet I had so many fond memories. I recognized that there were also so many cutscenes I had never seen before, but they were introducing characters I already knew. And when I was reintroduced to Haluk and Faye, I felt a smile only the Grinch could pull off, raising each corner of my mouth to my temples in a state of awe. They looked better than ever, and still not happy to see me. Well, Haluk for that matter. As I was noticing more improvements to Anthem, I couldn't help but realize how much better the dialogue got as well. Actual banter between myself and Owen as I fought waves and waves of scars. It brought me literal chuckles and an almost tunnel vision feel as if I was experiencing a memory. Then, returning to places I once ventured and flying in patterns I once used to stay in the air for as long as possible. And I'm serious. 
when I saw an Ursix for the first time in over three years, I actually audibly screeched. I must have been vibrating at that point with how energetic I felt. I felt 17 again. I actually felt like that teenage me wandering through the world of Anthem on my PlayStation all over again. The feeling of awe hit me so hard that I marveled at every waking moment that I played. It is an undoubtable fact. Anthem is a wonderful game. And although the true, consistent flow of content has subsided, and it most likely will never pick up again, the game itself will always remain a masterpiece to me. And returning to it has been one of the best decisions I've made for gaming in a while.